I'm Christian Abbott. I'm Nathan Lavender. I'm Sean Abbott. And this is the Red Mist Podcast. Hello, welcome to the Red Mist Podcast, Season 2, Episode 44, the Magnus Racing Number 44, Aston Martin v- Vantage GT3 car. There you go, Nate. That is timely, too. That, that is, is timely. Good. It would have been anything with Magnus this week, tonight, or anything with the Group 44 Jaguars. Yeah. What about Team LH? No. <laughs> okay. And, and no to NASCAR, so sorry. <laughs> Although the Hot Wheels Kyle Petty paint scheme is pretty cool, that Pontiac was never won a race. Yeah, the, the Hot Wheels Trans Am Camaro was pretty hot too. Yes. Anything with the yeah. Hot Wheels logos on it, it's good. I like yeah, it. Yeah, it's cool. Right. Oh yeah. Yep. All right. On tonight's episode, we'll talk Formula One, Viva Las Vegas, <laughs> or One Night in Sin City. What do you want to call it? Two, uh, oh, several nights in Sin City. Anyways, uh, we'll also discuss the Northeast Karting Challenge. Nate Lavender returns to karting and not rental karting. It's kind of rental karting. There, well, <laughs> it was actually, it looked I, like a real kart. He's, he's it, renting so. a ride. He, yeah. Did you rent the ride, Nate? <laughs> right. Or was it handed it to did, you? For the day. Oh. Well, yeah, did, it was just handed to me. Oh. Okay, whatever. Everything's free in life, Sean, sadly. Mm. So. Did you get paid to drive it? <laughs> Come on, Sean. Are you, 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 not yet. Not you, yet. You're, you're, not, you're, not like, look. you're not like the paid professional driver, Derek Moore. Right. Oh, of course Anyways, not. Anyways, yeah, no. and that, that brings us to our, our guest, Derek Moore. Speaking of which, Speaking howdy. of which, Derek, <laughs> howdy. Derek's here to talk about the Kansas Backyard Karting Series. Yes. And oh, it, yeah. And uh, Derek actually got paid to. Uh, Derek actually made money in this. Well, I shouldn't say made money. He but got paid. But he, yeah, it's he gone got, now. Yeah. It supported. It supported my he, endeavors. He won. Yeah. He won prize money. Let's yes, put it that yes. way. He's, okay. He is. A, he is on books a paid driver. Paid driver. Unlike Nate, no, who got a actually, participation trophy well, this weekend. You know what? I, I <laughs> Thank sh- you, Sean. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Maybe he's not paid for 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 tax reasons. Huh? <laughs> no, it's old school dirt racing. They've just paid you cash in it. Was it in an envelope? <laughs> or no. was it just straight handed in your back? Straight, no, straight handed with like a, a rubber band on it. Yeah, hand to hand. Not rubber even a rubber band. band. Just counted right in front of you. And, and the guy licked his, licked his index finger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Also, we'll have uh, news and notes from the world of racing. Lots of news today. A lot of it sports car related, but there is some Formula One news. Mm hmm. All right, let's talk Formula One in Vegas. It's going to be a night race. Night race. Yep. It might be it's cold. Be cold. It might be cold. We, got, we have night practice on mm-hmm. thurs- Thursday? Thursday night. Night practice and qualifying on Friday. Mm-hmm. Then the race, Friday. Saturday. Saturday. Oof. Or early, no. su- early Sunday morning. Early Sunday whichever morning one, for those one you of us on the East Coast. <laughs> what time locally? Yeah. Yes. Lo- locally, locally it's, it's, it's 10, uh, 10 p.m. is the race start. 10 p.m. in Vegas. Cow. 10 p.m. Yeah. in Vegas. What's that in Kansas? Like 9? No, 11. Nine. Uh, 11. 11. Yeah, it's Central Time, right? No, yeah. it's 11. No. It's 11. Oh, no. No, Central? It'd be midnight. Be midnight. Yeah. Cause it's, yeah, yeah, it's two oh, times. It's two hours. hours. You got, you got, what is yeah. it? It's 1, it's 1 a.m. for us. It's 1 a.m. for us. Oh. It's 1 a.m. for us. And it's like, woof. 6 a.m. That's gonna cut in. Brits. That's gonna cut into the viewing of Macau. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> um. All right. Um. Track looks uh, done. Ish. Final touches were being put on it. Mm-hmm. Final paving was being done today. That's good. That should get ripped up uh, Thursday night. It'll be able to pave <laughs> right, it again. Right after. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, Did you see the pit road exit? Yes. It looks scary. 
I was going to say sketchy. It's definitely something. Well, it looks I mean, like it looks like the pit pit lane exit at Martinsville. Somebody will be ice skating uh, their mean, way out. Sure. No. Well, Nate, I think there's going to be a pit exit violation over the line. At least a few drivers. Track yeah, limits, yeah. like track Mo- limits, like Monaco, like, like Monaco. Monaco. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, Don't put your tire on yeah. that line. Mm-hmm. Don't. Yeah, yeah. past it. Yeah. Past it. On yeah. on is okay apparently. Yeah. But. but back in the day, like you come smoking into the pits, no pit lane, nothing. Yeah, you no just pit, go bombing out. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No, I know. Let's, let's get back to that. We don't have to worry about that. No Racing is no it's a dangerous sport. All right. Yep. Um, ticket prices dropping, dropping. Hotel prices. Dropping. <laughs> no, the hotel prices have stayed pretty much regular Stagnant. Vegas prices. Stagnant. Yes, but but not not not, not overinflated. Yeah. Um. Uh. It looks like um you, it's the typical Grand Prix setup for a fan. There's n- you can't go roaming. Kind of restricted, aren't you? Yes, yeah. yeah. you're kind of, you're kind of, you're kind of, you're kind of, you're kind of pa- ca- caged up. It's kind of like a UFC fight. I can't uh, imagine being someone that just wanted to go to Vegas just to go to Vegas, and then you have you gotta, this. You walked into this yeah. fiasco. I know. I know. Watch I know. the news, I guess. <laughs> I know, and, this, yeah. and you know what sucks? There's no uh, no U two show at the Sphere. No. Which I thought I was know. okay. What fine, you can't use the parking lot around there, but. Why can't you have them have a show and like people can just walk to it? You know, Formula mm-hmm. One guys are showing up. That'd be cool. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It would be. Um, also, uh, I did hear that F One has um, they 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 control the sphere, so no one can uh, <laughs> put up. It's cool. Yeah, I I was kind of no, it's not cool because they're gonna put up like just you know, lane, lane, stuff. lane stuff. Like I wanted, like <laughs> I wanted. Cool. To get, well, we don't know yet. Nate, it's gonna be Lewis Hamilton's face Nate, always. Nate, Nate is, yeah, and he's gonna say blessed, you know. Still <laughs> <laughs> <Till> I rise. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, um, oh my god. And then um you know but, like I was looking for I wanted the guy I like wanted like the giant pumpkin or turkey swirling around. Or like you know, you know, the, happy, you the happy guy F- face. F one isn't fun. I know it's not fun. That's what I'm saying. I I do wonder how much they're going to change it throughout the race though, because yeah. there's I watched like a, someone had like a a version of the track on some game and they were running around it and it's like right in their face at one point. It the is, track. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that looks maybe distracting. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool, but yeah I mean, i'm just curious what they're actually, gonna do with it <laughs> it'd be really cool if they used it as like uh I, I mean not that there's as many uh like a scoreboard ca- cautions but if it was like oh, like, like a yellow NASCAR, flag, like, like a you use blinking yellow flag red flag yeah, 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 yeah. Flag. like i think it's just yeah. the bigger, I, yeah i think that'd yeah. be cool. like a, yellow like white a, that, yeah, that should have yeah. been the start zone like yeah, max just goes that. for it right yeah. there that'd be awesome speed, with the speed channel bl- the bleeper <laughs> yeah yeah could do that <laughs> That'd the, be awesome. The VP fuels start zone. Yep. Yeah. Or you know what could happen? Think about this. What if they like do a countdown to green up from the grid, and then that the sphere goes green, and then the light goes boop. Boop. <laughs> and then yeah, some other actually, actually, or something. Nate, that's a good idea. Mm-hmm. All right. See? Um, let's let's talk about the weekend. Um, actually, before we go anywhere, uh, actually, I'm kind of bummed about this race because, in in the sense that I'd like to attend it. Because um, the on track over the PA system, track mm. tracks PA system, uh, is um, the dulcet tones of one Bob Varsha. Oh man! Co- color commentary by Connor Daly. <laughs> That's gonna be oh. fantastic. Connor Daly. Nate's <laughs> like who? <laughs> no, I know Connor Daly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was hoping for Steve Match and David Hobbs, but uh, well, you gotta you gotta have the youth and party guy there. Yeah. Not yeah. that not that the Vegas. party guy, not that Match and Hobbs aren't party <laughs> <Yeah>. guys, but <laughs> and live performance, uh, Dead Mouse, get right? New so. Garden, <laughs> Dead Mouse, get New Garden and McLaughlin. Oh, the Bus Bros. <laughs> yeah, the Bus Bros would have been be good. Rowdy. They could add no, the Bus Bros in the pit lane. That'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, that'd that would have been, been. Yeah, just imagine those two like roaming the pit lane. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> Giving Will Bucks in a wedgie or something. Oh, Is Will gonna be there? Buxton? Yeah. Yeah. All right. 
How many well, people? How many James, people? How many people from? Uh, yeah, Hinchcliffe's there, and I think that's J- what I was thinking. And Joe Lynn's there with Alex Jakes. Yeah, but like on Sky Sports, like I mean, this they the, what did they bring? They bring in everybody. Mm. I'm sure, Brundle will be there. Probably. Do you think they're going to bring Johnny Herbert back? And <laughs> that would be awesome. Probably one more. Damon one more. Hill. No, no, because because Damon Caroon and they were in Brazil. Oh, they were. I thought they they just like Caroon was in Brazil. Oh, he was. Okay. Yeah. I I thought they usually leave them at the. Back at the uh, then we got we got terrible Ted roaming the pit lane. Yeah, actually, that would be good. The Bus Bros give him a wedgie. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> terrible who? All right. So, anyways, moving on. Right. To, moving on from that. Um. If you're going to watch Sky Sports, have fun with that. And that's ESPN. Woof. Woof. Um, here, here's your uh, weekend uh, on-track action. So if you bought a ticket at you know some incredible price, um, let's get to it. Um, on, on Thursday, all times are local, um, at uh, 1030. No, I'm sorry. 830. 830. Okay. I think it's 830. 20. Anyways, continue. Uh, we, <laughs> have, we have the first practice session mm-hmm. for an hour, an, an hour. Solid hour yeah. on a new track. Uh, that's followed by um, uh, the Formula One Pirelli Hot Laps, which is then followed by the Paddock Club pit lane walk, which is then followed by the Formula One Pirelli hot laps. Then we have what does the Formula One Pirelli hot laps consist of? Uh, That's like celebrities, uh, yeah, or or, you know, people paying overprices to ride around in a uh, in a a supercar. Okay, Um, okay. And then we have the second practice session at midnight to one a.m. And that concludes the evening. Local time? Wow. Yes, riveting. Okay, so we get to uh, we get to Friday There's night uh, at uh, tw- twenty thirty, whatever that is. Uh, that's eight. That's eight day thirty. Eight thirty. Yeah. Third practice session. Uh, guess what's up next, Nate? What? Formula One Pirelli hot laps. Oh, Fo- followed by the it's too much. Followed by the paddock club pit lane walk. Followed by guess what, Nate? Oh, come on. Formula One come Pirelli hot laps. Stop. <laughs> Why? There's already way Fall, too much. And then, then, then we have the Paddock Club track tour. So if you're mm-hmm. some overpriced VIP, you get to take a track tour in a bus. Now, there are no, unlike in Japan, it's not the safari. It's not the safari. It's not the track safari. No, it's not oh. the track safari. Oh, no, that's no fun. No, that's no fun. Hmm. Um, followed by qualifying at midnight. And that concludes the evening. So what time are the drivers getting up each day if they're uh, racing that late? They are arriving at the track sometime at 4 o'clock is what I've been told. Gosh. Okay, so here we go. Saturday, whoop, whoop. Uh, 1950, which is 7.50 yep. to uh, 8.20. We have the driver's parade. Hmm. Oof. Um, at 20.30. 8.30 to 9 o'clock. The pre-race show. So we get to watch okay. Martin Brundle interview uh-huh. every has-been or every just idiot celebrity that'll be there. Oh, God. Um, and then um, at roughly 9.40, we have driver introductions. That Hopefully that'll go as well as it did in Miami. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Shoot oh, me. Boy, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Followed by the national anthem. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we have Formula One at at 10 o'clock, the Grand Prix. <laughs> Nate, right. what's, what's missing throughout the entire <laughs> weekend? Um, I would say a lot of practice. I mean, jeepers. Uh, what, what, what usually, well, what usually practice for, for who? <laughs> For who and a new track? 
How about oh, no. the drivers? No, no, Nate. no. no. <laughs> what am no. I missing? Nate, no. What am I Nate. missing? There are no support races. Yeah. Oh, that's huge. Yeah. Where's the support races? Right. Your, your support races are the Pirelli hot, hot laps. laps. <laughs> you get to watch oh, the. Disgusting. You get to watch the safety yep. cars just zing around. Just go around. Yeah. yeah. Go around. And then hear some celebrities go, "Wow, wow, that was yeah. fast. That was mm-hmm. fast. I've never been that I'm fast." I'm scared. Shooting Instagram oh photos. So, will T. T. Will T. Swizzle and Travis Kelsey be there? Oh, stop. no. I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> All right. I, mean, this, I think, this, I think this, T-Swift is too busy this, these this, days. This thing is just going to turn into a disaster. Anyways. Are they only doing this the one year? No. No, no, no Nate. We have a 10-year year. contract. 10 years? Ten years. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, my. I think they've had long contracts before, and they've broken them, so All we'll right. see. So let's uh, let's. I mean, honestly, I don't have much. There wasn't really much in the way of news in the Formula One world. Well, no, we'll get to that one. No, I mean like race news leading into it. Other than, oh, oh, god. Uh, no. Other than Toto's net worth took a hit, and um, apparently Mercedes <laughs> sort of figured out what was wrong with the car. But um, oh, and then Haas is going to split their cars. One car's running the new, new, new stuff, and then the other mm-hmm. car's running the old stuff. Which right. is smart. Smart. Should have been done earlier, but... <laughs> yeah. Probably just can't afford it. Very true. <laughs> Two new cars. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, but it's a strat. Okay, so uh, it's pick time. Pick them. Nate, you drew the short well, straw. You're first. All right, yeah. So let's see. Um, new tracks. Who's good at new tracks? I don't I mean, know, Nate. First it's, two it's, a, it's a street circuit, so you know, you know who's winning this one. No, no, he's not. He's not. No, I know exactly who you're thinking of. Sergio Perez is not going to win this race. You heard it here. What? Um, Mexico Redemption. It, no, where, where, at his where, hands. Why? Why are you being? Why are you not being optimistic? His last chance? chance was Singapore. That was it. That was it. In in a in a okay. Red Bull that was not designed for that but, track. But but you saw what happened. All right. So. But he's the king of the streets. A, this trend. Do you want me to or not? Christian? He's, he's <laughs> the king of the streets. Let's get it out, Junior. Yeah. Let's go. Hurry up. I'm trying. I'm trying. But Christian. Stop, stop about the streets. Let's go. Come on, Nate. <laughs> okay, let's see. Lewis Hamilton's going to get third. Oof. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I'm not picking on Lewis there, but that ain't it's a, happening. It's a cold track. It, you, you, we don't, we don't know. That's not mm-hmm. happening. Okay. All right. Okay, all right. Well, these are my picks, Sean. <laughs> Again, I'm working <laughs> on it. Uh, second, we're going to have Lando. And then we're going to have Max Verstappen winning the race. Right. And your underdog, your dark horse, is going to be <sighs> Alex Albon. Oh, I like that. All right. Yeah. That's, a, that's a solid one, actually. Sure, you have Derek go next? We can have Derek go. Derek next. I'm, 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 I've done my brief five seconds of research. That's, as a, that's good. <laughs> a non F1 enjoyer, but. Mm-hmm. Somewhat knowledgeable on the subject. How dare you? Not in the... <laughs> How dare you <laughs> say that? <laughs> Netflix is going to cancel um, your account. Yeah. Good. I didn't Will it survive? That show. <laughs> 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 <to> survive. <laughs> See what I did there? Um, yeah, so I'm going to pick for stopping to win. Okay. I don't know why you wouldn't. I'm going to put signs second. Ooh. Singapore. Got mm-hmm. it. Good pick. Night like race. It. Like it. Mm-hmm. Street circuit. Um, I'm probably going to put Norris third. Ah, uh, okay. And a dark horse? Um, mm, let me look through the... Uh, Ricardo. No. <laughs> wow. Let me think about this. Let me think about see, this. See how they interrupt you? I got you. I got you, Derek. Don't worry. I'm going to go with uh, everyone's favorite. Esteban Ocon. People are frauds. Wow. All right. <laughs> P- picking the driver that's retired the most out of this year. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. 
Right. I haven't watched a true. single it's, race it's this season. It's, <laughs> it's it's a stat that's out there. Right. So here we go. All right, I'll go. Yep, Moody got that. I'm gonna go Max to win. All right. I'm gonna go Norris second. Carlos third. And my uh, my dark horse is gonna be. I'm gonna go Yuki. All right. Ooh. Autist. Um, let's see. I'm. I'm gonna go. Leclerc to win. Ooh. Ooh. It's big. I would have went Carlos, but Leclerc wins. Um. After not getting pulled. Second will be Lando. Third will be Max. And the Dark Horse. We'll, we'll go Ricardo. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. I was waiting on that one. Yeah. I think it was him and Lewis. The two drivers that wanted racing Vegas. Yeah. And so. I mean the the Alphatari has had a good couple weekends uh in a row, so that's that's been promising signs. All right. That's good. All right. That concludes F one. Mm-hmm. All right, let's move on to uh Nate's return to the world of karting. And the Northeast yes. karting challenge mm-hmm. at English Town. Is there his his yes. debut? Debut. Yeah, this, this was <laughs> a debut uh, in this series. So, uh, this was the ninth round <laughs> of the uh, Northeast Karting Challenge at English Town. Uh, I entered in KA100 class. Uh, so, this was 100cc in this go kart. And I, a big thank you to Alec Fidel, uh, Matteo Giuliano, and Touring Kart Championship for opportunity and so i didn't get to test it saturday um i i believe it was alec or, or someone else got into the car and dialed it in and it was pretty good uh, once i got into practice one i was able to get, get going with the car but i'll tell you the track was super cold and there was zero grip as soon as i left pit lane i looped it around the first corner. I was like, this is insane uh, how cold this track is. There's Nate, Nate, no how, temperature in the place. How cold, yes, how cold was it? Was it as cold as, as, as Vegas? <laughs> 40 something. That, that sounds, there, that sounds like, like that sounds like the, the five to 10 degrees centigrade uh, range that everyone is spitting out. You know, that, I, right, I, I, uh, I think this is a bit of a prologue to what's happening this weekend in F1. So, oh, you said Max is getting third. I'm still kind of like, my mind's still laying <laughs> rattled. I mean, it, it's, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, it's, oh, jeez. It's Vegas. This is someone's, Max's biggest fan. Someone's going to get lucky, okay? Ooh. Someone's going to roll the dice. And... Boom. Someone's yeah. also going to get screwed. Exactly. <laughs> someone's so, gonna run some, out of luck at Vegas. Someone's gonna. Yeah. Someone's gonna take home. They're betting take, big. Someone's gonna take home with the prize, and someone's gonna walk away with like way worse than they came in. Somebody's gonna roll craps. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll Nate, continue. Snake eyes. Anyway, so <laughs> snake eyes. Anyway, <laughs> practice one was really cold, and then practice two, I was starting to get a really good grip of the car. See what it did there. Anyway. Uh, so I was, I was like, I, I didn't look at the time sheets. I, I was just glad I got kind of comfortable with the cart. And then qualifying came, I qualified fourth in class and it wasn't the best lap times just cause I was still under steering like crazy. But the, uh, I just, I didn't warm up the tires enough for, I mean, to get a good lap in, I felt. But as soon as we reached the pre-final, I 
made a move for third and then got immediately hip checked out of the way and dropped back to fourth. I and then the redness descended. Oh man, I was ready. I was like, nope, I'm getting this third. I was so laser focused after that. Like I just I was like, nope, mm-hmm, this is mine. So I hunted down the guy. Insert cliche. Laser because focused. Because redness podcast? Or, no, or, laser focused. Oh. Well, I was I was definitely getting third from that guy because I was like, mm-mm, man. I got hit checked out of the race. I can't believe it. Unbelievable. Anyway, so I get I get to him. And I pull this awesome over under. So the guy kind of early apexed in the corner, and I was like, still I, I was still wide, and I cut down to the inside, and there was a there's a left hander where there's like this one tree in the as Sean, the parking lot. <laughs> but I, ma- I w- threw it down the inside and made the pass stick, and uh, and a couple of laps later, the race was over. So I got third. And then the final was started later on, and <laughs> I started third, and I passed uh, Chris. Chris uh, was actually wrenching for me this weekend. He was helping me out with the cart. Um we were in the same tent together, so it was that was pretty cool. And he was he was bad fast throughout the day. And I got up to second, and I knew he was going to be making a move for me. I was still in second halfway through the race. I'm thinking, of course, I'm thinking in my head, I can't wait to talk about this Scott Goodyear episode of Redness Podcast coming this Tuesday. And then as soon as I could finish my thought, he made a pass on me. And I thought, okay, well, that obliterates that idea. So I fell back to third, and I would... Uh, could stay there and finish third. So it was it was a fun return to uh, comp karting, uh, and it was really fun to uh, you know make my debut in the uh, Northeast Karting Challenge. It was cool to be on the podium too. So that was that was really nice too. I know you get. You got the podium picture. You even got the pictures of the stickers on the carts too. Big, oh, big I day. Put so many stickers on the cart. I told Alec, I was like, "Hey, besides these two points, can I put stickers elsewhere?" He's like, "Yeah, have at it." And so, heck yeah. <laughs> so it's <laughs> just like, all right. So I Pick put on the up. side, two sides, and and uh, I I told Chris. Chris had his cart next to mine. I was like, "Hey, Chris, you want some stickers?" He's like, "Hell yeah!" And so I we threw two on in front of his card as well. And, and, um, David Goldman, the fastest guy in town in our class, he, you know, had a grand slam. I mean, seriously, pole, right. Won the pre-final, won the final. This guy was bad fast. And he, I, hell, he even got some in this podcast stickers too. So he was, um, and he was a good person to meet too. So, uh, great people, great paddock. And it was it was all, overall a fun time. Um, really, really super stoked. And oh, and another shout out, Justin Dietrich was there as well. He was in Tech Senior. Uh, man, he's someone we should have on the show too. Uh, he has a whole race to fifty. He's he's trying to race in pump karting in every single state. So that's hence the race to fifty. Good so luck, Kansas. Right, right. <laughs> oh, I was thinking in my head, like, good luck in Massachusetts, because I, <laughs> I can't think of where to go for that. So, um, well, anyway, so yeah. it got third and did that. So it was fun, and I, I think they have one more round. They, it's, it's not a points round, but it's like kind of like a fun cart swap meet, apparently. I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure exactly what it is, but it sounds like if you have stuff to sell, it sounds like a good opportunity for that. Sell or buy, buy or sell. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a swap meet. <laughs> yep, 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 sure does. So yard sale. Uh, I won't be there for that. Yeah, right, right. So hey, Christian, you know, Derek, Sean, if if you guys want to, um, to buy stuff or sell stuff, might be a good opportunity. Where, I don't think I'll where, make it. Where is it? <laughs> it's in uh, English Town. Five when? Hour, five uh, drive. This this week. No. Right. So it, it is a far drive. Yeah. It's a hard, it, well, hard, how? It, hard no. 
Hard what? Hard no. <laughs> hard no. You, you said five hour drive? Yeah. Yeah, what's it for you, Derek? Uh, 20. It's probably slightly more. Five hour. <laughs> it's probably five hour travel worth of flight for you. It's like 40 hours of <laughs> yeah. Derek's time that he'll never get back yeah. in his life. Exactly. <laughs> I, gotta go, I gotta go to that swap meet, though. Yeah, I gotta get there. <laughs> Oh well, yeah! Thanks for the so, plug. At least you plugged it, Nate. Yeah. Well, and you know what's funny? We got a lot of exposure for our podcast. It was, you know, I'm going to give a quick shout out to Jake Innes, right, at Riverhead. Mm-hmm. Are we going to get like one listener? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? There was an announcer no, that no, called no, his no. car. That, that was very cool. I, Pr- I Christian's going to set up a discourse Discord channel. Can we interact with fans during that? Yeah. We can do that. So we should. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. That'll be next year. Just maybe turn, we'll do that. Sean, we'd have the best time with this. It's like, was, was kind of <laughs> no that. joke. I'm going to turn, turn the NRL Discord to that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> who knows? 20, 2020, 2024, we, we, we may go video with it, too. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Oh, God. I just seen our mugs on YouTube. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So, I buy a t shirt. Okay. I, I buy a Sean Abbott t shirt. <laughs> No, but you got to... Oh, never mind. I almost ruined something. Mm. Don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Dang um, it. Oh. All right. So, Nate's, uh, so, Nate's recap. Thank you, sir. Yes, of course. And all then right. another driver who ex- who had some exposure for our podcast, the Kansas Wind himself. Derek Moore. Derek, Derek Moore. Derek Moore. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, Derek, let's... let's uh, Explain to the numerous listeners yeah. what the Kansas Backyard Karting Series is. All right. So, basically, it started out just a wild hair by a um, bunch of close friends. They just had an idea one night, and they wanted to race their go-karts, and they built a track in their backyard. And then it started snowballing when one of our local sprint car drivers – he had built a track for his his nine year old to go turn some laps and get some practice and get some experience with his cart. And then they decided, hey, let's make a little backyard series for fun. We'll do, you know, some cash buy in, cash payout, you know, we'll get some big checks for fun and um, you know, see if we can turn a little fun series out of this. And it snowballed into a pretty Pretty big thing, I think. Um, got a third track in the middle of the season. Um, I joined. I, we, my dad and I went down to Muskogee, Oklahoma, bought ourselves a cart, um, do some backyard dirt oval go kart racing. Um, we missed the first three races, but um, jumped in on the fourth. And man, <laughs> it's been a it's been a learning process the whole way through, and a whole bunch of fun. <laughs> So Derek, like what, um, I mean, this is all oval carts, right? So Eric, the... yes, this, they're all left turn only, mm-hmm. um, dirt track oval carts. And like, what, what's the, what, what's the, <laughs> shall I explain further? <laughs> what, what, what's the size of these tracks? Because I, because um, a, 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 an oval, a, an oval cart is, is offset to the left side. So it's, yes, they're there, all there is some, offset. There's some. I mean, Asymmet- asymmetry of this of dagger in it. Yeah, they, they, yeah, we run tire the, stagger like, like, like a modified. Mm-hmm. Nice. Well, yep. Yep. They, but you, Derek, yours are. Is, is everyone's fenders covered? So or, yeah. Or, so sorry, one of one of dumb, one of the way of saying it. is everyone's <laughs> wheels covered by the fenders. One one of the few rules that we have for this series, at least for this first season, was you got to have a body. And typical flat cart bodies are they've got a nose cone that kind of comes up and goes over the tires and then there's side panels that continue on back towards like the the center of the back wheels and kind of stop there so but then you've got a bumper on the back it can be like a full width bumper just like a regular uh skinny bumper that's just between the tires but if you look up just like a dirt oval cart or a flat cart um yeah it's just a flat plastic or fi- fiberglass body that yeah it goes over the front tires and kind of aerodynamic whole bunch of different versions of them but yeah, so we've got and, go ahead well i was just thinking like is there more than one track that you go to yeah for this? 
Yeah, we have three tracks. We've got uh, West Street Speedway, Dry Creek, Dry Creek Speedway, and Lagoon Speedway. Um, all backyard tracks. Um, the Lagoon and Dry Creek are like eighth to a tenth mile, somewhere in there. Um, and That's then West good. Street is tiny. West Street's eight, tiny. Eight tenths of a mile is pretty um, big. No, no, no. Eight eighth to a tenth of a mile. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you said eight tenths. No, 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 no. Um, no, they're they're between a tenth or an eighth mile, so somewhere around there. So they're they're smaller than like the tracks you would see down in the southeast, um, in the Carolinas or like down in Oklahoma and stuff. Um, like all the big races run typically on like six to six mile or fifth mile tracks, but these are a good size. Uh, for raciness and like being able to drive, like the driver gets a bit more, has a bit more part of um, now, like winning instead of it being, all being set up. In true dirt track fashion, these are obviously under the lights. Uh, <laughs> two of them were. <laughs> no, two way. of them were. Really? <laughs> oh, see, see, Sean. They don't. Yeah, we did. We did two it, races on under the lights. Was <laughs> it like a generator powered by like a a donkey or something? That you know, go around in a circle. <laughs> Who do you think we are? <laughs> <laughs> no, they have those little, they're those little tow behind gener like diesel generator nice. like lights that you mm -hmm. like. They got like hand cranks and they crank them up. And they got like were, four LED, big LED were, lights. Were the light oh, they were big LED. I was going to ask if they were like forty yeah, watt yeah. bulbs or something. You know, so it was like no, 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 good no. visibility. They're, they they do they they lift awesome. the track up quite, uh, quite well. My next question: grooved or slicks? So. This is another kind of thing with our backyard stuff. Um, the guys that ran most of it, we typically like running the treaded tires. We, we've got we, we've got access to Hoosiers um, here in town, um, but like any of the big money races down in the southeast or something, or um, like really real serious stuff, they're going to run slicks because there's those tracks are groomed really well. Um, and it kind of almost turns into pavement, especially after it, get, it gets rubbered up. Um, but they'll run slicks and they'll put like prep on the tires. So they're getting really tacky. What? And they'll change tires. They'll, yeah, they'll change tires like every time they go out. What was that word That's you used? Money stuff. Prep? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like chemical prep. You can't, you're not allowed that. In <laughs> not, not, not in no fun land. <laughs> not in no fun land. <laughs> yeah, well, so here's my deal is I don't really want to learn it because it's kind of a black magic um and it, uh, we, like it's a lot of trial and error we could tell you a few things to get it right <laughs> yeah i mean you can put it on there and it'll get sticky but there's a whole bunch of other I stuff get, like yeah, along I, with I, it I've heard some things <laughs> most of what mo most everybody was running treaded tires and are those we similar, like to do that because some of the rain what? tires christian similar to your rain tires the, or the, it's cut differently cut differently yeah they're okay. like they look like small sprint car tires. Yeah. Okay. All right. But the, the right they, sides are nine inches wide. So. And can I ask our, another question? Our our yeah. rain tires are more treaded. I mean, well, yeah, 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 no, I know what you're they're saying. more like arrow shaped. His, his are more grooved. His his are grooved, and they look yeah. like blocks. rectangles can, of blocks. Yeah, can yeah. I ask a question? Like like true typical dirt car dirt car fashion, and sprint car fashion. Do you guys? take like a like a file and clean the dirt out in between sessions yeah yeah all right see oh, there we go yeah <laughs> or take like a sander or a grinder you, with like a flap disc so, on it and yeah. get all the dirt now, off do you have a push truck no no oh. so that one of one of the rules that was big for the series it's gotta be a pull start oh okay to keep yeah to keep it from getting out of hand yeah that being said you can have a 30 horsepower pull start engine there's nothing wrong with that but those we didn't get any of those until this last weekend. Now are, <laughs> so. are the motors sealed? No. <laughs> no, he just said. So 30, like I said, thirty before. horsepower. Play start. <laughs> yeah. I've got a cheater motor. That's that's like throwing the road tax hey, on. You can look at that's it that way. Cool. Yeah, it's like yeah, throwing a road tax on. Yeah. There? Could you? Oh no, because oh. it's not air cooled. They're all air cooled, right? No. It's got to be a yeah. Pulse they're all start. air cooled. All right. Oh yeah. I mean, pulse start. actually. Mm. What? <laughs> you could put a pull start. Derek, what, on what the, defines uh, pull start? Yeah. It's a rope with a handle on the end, and you pull it, and the engine starts. <laughs> and the engine starts. Hmm. Okay. Like uh -huh. your lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> no. 
Because I mean, I mean, the engines we're running are like yeah, Harbor Freight you, Predators. You could, you could, oh, Predators, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Honda clones. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Or you can run a Briggs. Go back if to you that. Want. Go back to that. What was the first motor? A Predator. Or the clone Honda clones. I thought you said Harbor Freight. Yeah, Harbor I mean, Freight. Predator. Harbor Freight. Yeah, yeah. These yeah. are the ones you go to yeah. Harbor Freight and you buy yeah. them in the box and they're there. Yeah. 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 And Sometimes then they, they're typically modified. Some carding suppliers supply them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, they're a good, cheap engine. I mean, you can get it for oh, no, I have no problem. Bucks. I have no problem with <laughs> yeah. it. Now, how many of these... Oh, never mind. Never mind. 130 bucks. Say it. Crap, you can buy five of them. Yeah. Swap them out yeah. every, every heat. Kid, yeah. if you wanted to. We, we is it, didn't. <laughs> is it chain drive or belt drive? Chain. It's not that different. I've sent Christian some, prick, some pictures. They run it's the not bigger, that different. They run the bigger pitch chain. chain. We run the thirty-five. Yeah, yeah, they are because you, you run the yeah. two nineteen. Some of the guys do have two nineteens. Some guys Oof. do run the two nineteen. They run the two nineteen. You yeah. can do it. I know, but it's like the, a... the the thirty-five pitch is like better because like the crap, it just it's chunky, it pulls. Yeah, yeah, it's cheaper. That's what we use. <laughs> mm-hmm. And drum clutches. A lot. Some guys got those fancy uh, bully disc clutches. Um, but no one runs the Hilliard yeah, the, Inferno. The, the, <laughs> No, they do. do I, they? I, that's what I've got. A lot of guys run those, yeah. Yeah. What color clutch shoes you run? Uh, well, shoes or springs? Springs, spring, sorry. Springs. Yeah. We were on, for the last half of the season, we were on two blacks. No, four blacks, and then we had four weights. Oh, okay. You put the weights in. Yep, yep. But a lot of the guys just run two blacks and two whites. Standard. Install speed's only like 200 RPM different. How, how much of a pain is it to clean the cart? Depends on the previous race. If it was really muddy, then it can be a pain in the butt. It's not like uh, taking a you fire hose to it, right? That's like uh, usually we just take the garden hose oh, to it, you? spray it out. I was going to say that was the best thing. Yeah. <clears throat> but if it was just <clears throat> dusty, then we can just wipe it off and gotcha. call it good. So, Derek, what this past weekend, what what was it exactly that you did? Because when you explained it to me, it was a tri- basically a triple header. <laughs> it was a triple header. Yep. So yep. this, this being the first season, the schedule was pretty um, TBD. Uh, a lot of the times working around other people's um, schedules, racing their big cars. A lot of guys are racing modifieds, a few, sprint, a couple, well, one sprint car racer um, and working around this schedule, the schedules of those guys. Um, but it ended up being a, we've got three races left we need to do. Let's just do it Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, so Friday we raced a lagoon under the lights. It was very cold. Um, I mean, I mean, it was, it was like 40, 35 degrees by the, by the time we finished up. Um, we had like, I don't know, like 26, 27 carts show up for that race. Um, I ran, well, it was spicy. It was a spicy finish. Um, and it, they called it a tie for first, but um, I won. I got first place <laughs> points, so that's what matters. Um, then it's, it's a Saturday, we raced at West Street. Um, we probably had like I think twenty four or twenty five cars show up for that one, and I finished six. That was just a pinball. I kind of just let the race happen <laughs> at that point. Um, and then Friday or Sunday, we raced at Dry Creek. And we had the final, final race. I ended up winning that one. Um, and then we had the all-star race, which was um, certain people got to race. It's it like all-star for NASCAR. Um, so, you know, if you want to race or if you were there, I think they had like perfect attendance for like the first half of the season. And then they had an open deal, all-star open kind of deal running that weekend oh. to make the show. Um, and then we, so we ran that afterwards. Um, so, yeah, it was 30 lap feature on Friday. I think it was 40 lap feature on Saturday and 30 lap feature on Sunday. And the All Star was a 40 lap feature with a halfway break. Very nice. Sounds like a good time. <laughs> it, dude, awesome. it was a good time. So, yeah. That Sunday was awesome. I mean, I had my whole family there. I mean, there's a big crowd. You can go to the. Mm-hmm. The Facebook page, and you can see all kinds of pictures. Um, do, do you guys? For the have, most part, everyone's there having fun, dude. Yeah. Do you I have? That. Do you have tech? 
again, um, we had minimal rules. Again, and the tech, the tech was more of a was more safety stuff. And oh, you had a safety. I mean, it was the same. It was the same. It was the same people showing up every time, so it kind of got neglected. Um, <laughs> this no, is so no, Sean's no, waiting we, for the. So no, there really we, was there. There was no tech. The tech that's, was that's full all. start. Thank the tech, you. full that's start. All. You got got to have a bumper. You got to have a neck yeah. neck roll. Got to have four have tires. You, you yeah. Derek, I, th- I think you want to repeat that. You had someone come by and look at the carts before each race, and everyone passed, and it was a good, <laughs> well-behaved season. Yes, correct. Yes. Absolutely right. Okay, good. Including Saturday? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, it was a great weekend. I mean, lots of good racing. The motor variety wasn't really too big of a deal honestly these tracks aren't big enough to where it makes a huge deal i was like 10 horsepower down the guys that showed up with the big motors this weekend and i was keeping up with them they stretched their legs and then straight away but i'd get back to them in the corners and um yeah it was just it's just a good good dang time and i think uh you guys if you ever get the chance to try out a durable cart yeah no, definitely sure. yeah, yeah. right <laughs> Nate, I think we got to make a stop in Kansas at some point. Oh, you're telling me. I mean, I, I just want to check the box. Come on down. <laughs> so that's all exciting stuff. And I just, I love the idea that um, your whole family was there on Sunday for, to witness everything um, right then and there. Uh, when you won the race and then won the championship too. Uh, yeah. It, that's, you know, that, that, re- that is really a cool moment. And I, I love hearing about it. And uh, hey, Sounds like uh, your better half was there, and uh, yep. dude, dude, your dad, man, dude, <laughs> that was that was cool, man. Dude, I, I, I got to thank my dad so much. Like, I mean, this would have never happened if he wasn't like helping out. I mean, he was funding a lot of it, and he was at my house. I think every day last week, um, rebuilding oh, wow. stuff and going through stuff, and he's got just an eye for everything. So he's just t- he's just tweaking and fiddling with things and trying to get it perfect and our limited knowledge since this was our first year ever doing anything like this um jeez i think uh, Ended up i think it enough. turned out pretty good so yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah i mean this this has been a crazy crazy summer crazy year um hopefully do some maybe do some indoor stuff this winter and continue on next year and uh see what happens with it but yeah, I mean it's crazy. I'm out. I mean I'm out there racing with the guy who owns um, Dry Creek, Jeremy Campbell. He's a kind of the local print car ace. He is. I've watched him for years, and racing with him is just super cool. And it was me and him for the championship, and I ended up on top. So that's just kind of a pinch myself moment. Um, as silly as it is, just. Uh, no, backyard go car racing, but man, <laughs> I feel like racing I'm out there racing, racing with the big boys. <laughs> Heck yeah, that's it. Hey, see, any seat time is good in my eyes, you know. Oh yeah, so that's how I take it. So, as you I, as you should too. So, all good, all fun stuff. But yeah, I mean, huge thanks for everybody who put it on too. Like, it was a lot of work. I mean, mm. it was, it was the same flagger like almost every single race and. <laughs> Just like scheduling stuff and making sure it ran well. It just, yeah, just cool that it was able to happen and it's going to probably keep going. So, well, I've watched some of your YouTube videos and like, especially this season finale race, I was just like, I, I just watching it was making me really nervous. I was like, oh my God, go. Like, seeing you make <laughs> some of the moves you did, I was like, oh man, I, I would have done that too. And just <laughs> like, and then once you took the lead, Dude, I threw my fist up in the air just watching it. I was like, oh, my God, that is unreal. But yeah. then the one guy went off in the backstretch. Did he run out of you, fuel or something? Yeah, he ran out of fuel. Those those open oh, alcohol, alcohol-powered alcohol motors, dude. Yeah. <laughs> they were guzzling. We had a lot of caution laps. Um, and, yeah, he ran, out, he ran out of fuel. So, oh. <laughs> I think it was, there was, like, three engines out there that were running alcohol that were big power, and two of them ran out of gas. Jeez. So, uh, but yeah, those things, man, rocket ships. I had 15 horse to their 25 to 30. <laughs> 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 Once I hooked up, man, that was crazy. But 
Oh. Was that your favorite race of the season? Did, did uh, you have like a, a special moment throughout the race or, or the season rather? Like, well, I was telling my dad. Or? I was telling my dad. I think that race went about as like clo- as close to how I planned it to go as any of the races this um, this year. So I was just out there. I knew where I had to finish. I was just out there racing and trying to be in a good spot, and I was just going to let the guys with the big motors just do something. <laughs> <laughs> Knock each other out of the way, open a hole for me, and that's essentially what happened. So, um, yeah, that's, it, that, I really I really enjoyed that race quite a bit. Well, certainly boys have at it. Uh, yeah. If I've ever seen it, so. <laughs> check, my, check me out on YouTube. I got a bunch of <laughs> GoPro videos. <laughs> but, but you don't have to tell me twice. But, um, <laughs> they are they are good, good time to watch them. So yeah, Sean, you should watch them. Yeah, have I? I think I've sent you a couple. <laughs> yes, you have. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, he's watched okay. a couple. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. I, I think about you, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, boys. Appreciate it. All right. A couple news and notes items. Yep. All right. First news. Boom, 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 boom. Michael Andretti and GM fire a shot across FMO's <laughs> bow. <laughs> Did they ever? Did they ever? I think. Um, I think uh, this kind of put an end to that. What of whether they're welcome on the grid or not? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's, Be- because it's, this just opens a whole can of worms if they don't go down the route. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. and I don't want to like we can save it for later, but that 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 um, basically GM was the one that fired the shot. So yeah, and they were the well, ones that implied that it will be with Andretti. So yeah, anyone else comes looking, so, not happening. Mm-hmm. So is that a bluff? Or no, no, do you think that's nope. for sure? Nope. nope. Okay. Basically, I, I, it was done to expedite the process, and if they come back and they keep telling them, well, we don't want Andretti, but we want you, and they're going to say, absolutely not, because if you look mm-hmm. at the press release, they are listed as their partner. <clears throat> right. So so are Cadillac actually going to be making their own yes. engine? Mm-hmm. Or yes. Is it brand 20, new? 2028. Unlike, they, yeah. unlike Ford, it will not be a badging exercise. Yeah. <laughs> like it, it hurts my heart. It hurts my soul. The, <laughs> it hurts my soul. Oh. <laughs> it, the only give it another year and Ford will pull out of it as they do I, everything. It, my heart, as a Ford person, oh. Ford guy all my life. Yeah, well, <laughs> it, they they hurt me every every year. <laughs> I'm just I'm just curious how long this GT3 program is gonna last. So. Anyway, a couple of years they'll win something. Call it good. Call it. Yep, that's <laughs> typical Ford. Yeah, Le Mans. That's yeah, it. That's and it. See ya. Bye bye. Um, all right, let's move on. Uh, other big news, uh, also somewhat involving Andretti. WTR Andretti mm-hmm. announced today their two final drivers to fill in at Daytona. Yes, they did. Or to join the team at Daytona. Um. One is uh, Marcus Erickson. <laughs> and he'll be joining the team of uh, Ricky Taylor, Philippe Albuquerque, their other driver, Brendan Hartley. That'll, that's a formula Spec. for some. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. But then we're gonna I don't get, know how they do this every year. <laughs> but then we're going to get to the fan favorite team. <laughs> Which would have been even more of a fan favorite team had they put Colin Brown in this car. Yeah. But they didn't. Uh, we have uh, Jordan Taylor, young Jordan Taylor, right, Nate? <laughs> young Jordan Taylor, yes. mm-hmm. uh, Louis oh, yeah. Delatraz, and we also have Louis Delatraz's best friend from LMP two days, uh, young Colton Herta. Yes, yes. And they will but be else, they will be joined by none other than Formula One World Champion Jensen Button. Old yeah, Jensen yeah, Button. Yeah. Actually, this is a good good point. If you're <laughs> if you're listening to the show this episode today, or any day after this release on Disney Plus Friday, the fifteenth. Yeah, that's tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Sorry, yeah, right, tomorrow. Friday. Yeah, tomorrow. Thursday. Yep, yep. Wednesday. Sorry, Wednesday. Tomorrow. Is Wednesday. At midnight. Does it drop at midnight? Uh, <laughs> what day is it? It might actually. Anyways, if you're listening to this on November fifteenth or later, 
on Disney Plus, there is a documentary being released about the 2009 Braun GP season. Yep. And, uh, and narrated by Keanu, Keanu, Keanu Reeves, Reeves, who is yes. a full fledged Formula One fan. Yeah. So super cool. Which is cool. We'll yeah. Looking forward and to it. And Jensen that. Button's in it quite a bit. Yeah. I don't. Is Rubens in it? I think he's in something. He's in it. Yeah. Yeah. Is Russ in it too? I'm sure he's okay. probably in it. Cool. Oh, they got to. They got to have the whole picture. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I know they. I know they you know spend I mean? time with the car and stuff. I mean, like, it's pretty cool. in. And if anyone doesn't know their F1 history, like Bron, go, go Bron, GP, Bron GP is the team prior to so Mercedes. It is like yeah, this is, and this is an underdog winning the world championship. Yeah, yeah. okay, because they found a they found the they a found well oh, they found the loop. The well, no, they they yeah. found the secret <laughs> speed like yeah. Red Bull did this yeah. year. So, anyways, yeah. so that's uh, yeah. Tomorrow, great point, Christian. Thank mm-hmm. you. Um, all right, so that that's just one story. Um, the other story is uh, on the JDC Miller Porsche 963. Mm-hmm. Yes. Welcome back, Richard Westbrook to IMSA. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of glad for him. Yeah. Because I didn't really see where that WEC thing was going with Cadillac with him. Yeah. Because I, I don't know. He he's 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 he's, hand, he's lights out fast. So mm-hmm. I think this is pretty cool. So he'll be joining uh, Vanderhelm. That that kid is quick. Mm-hmm. Like that is. He, Along with uh, yes, this this is this this is pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> one Mister uh, Ben Keating will be in the car. That's it. As you will do double duty <laughs> at Daytona. <laughs> He's gonna be running an LMP two car in this. I was just gonna uh, say, isn't yeah. he doing something else? Yeah. Like, yes. He's running an LMP two. It's car. like um. God love him. Love Ben. The man's insane. He is insane. <laughs> and he's it's, fast. That's what, Scott? Phil Hansen's going to be the other driver for the Michelin Endurance Series. D- didn't, uh, was it Scott Sharp that did double duty at level five? Tucker. Scott Tucker, sorry. He's doing time. Yeah, he, he is, but but, <laughs> yeah. but he, did, he did do double duty. He did do double duty, yes. Dur- during yes. ALMS. But he, yeah. he, he was quick. Y- yes. He was quick, yes. but he wasn't. I mean, he was the first of the really good gentleman drivers, yes. and then you had like Delana and a couple mm-hmm. other people, and um, Christian Reed who just retired, and then Ben Keating, um, yeah, uh, George Kurtz mm-hmm. is you know up there. So um, yeah, so ben, Ben's doing double duty. I can't. Uh, double duty in the two top classes. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. really. Can't you go run a GTD car? <laughs> nope. Just no, nope. no. Nope. Oh, love them. Uh, all right. Um, that was in the. That was the. Oh, and our our favorite. One of our favorites in the GDD paddock is back now. Rumor has it it could be a full season mm. because the press release referenced the IMSA WeatherTech Championship, oh. not the Militia, Michelin Endurance Cup. Mm. And welcome back to the pad- paddock. Tonight's car cover for our episode, Magnus Racing. <laughs> With uh, John Potter, Andy Lally, and Spencer Pompelli. Exciting. That's very good. Wonder if they'll have a fourth driver. Probably will. Wonder who that could be. Mm, yeah, actually, I wonder who I mean, that could be. We'll leave that alone. We'll just <laughs> yeah. leave it there. Yep. Nate's like, what? <laughs> no, I have an idea. Okay. Mm-hmm. Does it begin with Ryan and ends in every state? Oh, there you go. <laughs> you just put the curse on us. See, tomorrow, tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, they name Nikki Team to it. Thanks, Nate. Way to go. Yeah. <laughs> well, ask if I'm drivers. So yeah. I know. Uh, there, so. Paul Miller Racing back mm-hmm. with Brian Sellers, Madison Snow, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Neil Van Hagen. Yeah. yeah, yes. <laughs> Press the car suit out, gentlemen. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's from Richfield, Connecticut. Oh, didn't know that. Yeah. There you go. I met him at Seabrain, so. That's pretty cool. Cool stuff. Um, oh, what else have we got? Williams just signed a driver today. Oh, yes. This, oh yes, this is Miss Block. This is yeah. Now, 
pretty big. It is. <laughs> it is pretty I'm big. really happy yeah. about this. It's yeah. pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. I, saw, it's I just, was surprised when just, I saw that. I'm just yeah. kind of like, why didn't they? I mean, I'm not complaining that she's going to do F1 Academy, mm-hmm. but like, what about like doing the la- IndyCar ladder? That that was the only thing I was curious about. Right. I mean, this does help. I still time. Rest the <laughs> she's always 16. She's been doing like 17. That, right? 17. She's been 17 doing now? F4 yeah. races before. Oh, has she? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, right. it, I, didn't this, this oh, fits, I didn't know that. This fits okay. in the wheel. Or, or if she hasn't been doing races, she's been doing test, test sessions. Whatever. For that. Okay. Um, so, I mean, it, it does make sense in the fact that this is where it. Okay. Where her nope, this is going. fine. Yeah hopefully, but, yeah, hopefully this is like at least two years. Within yeah. that, I mm-hmm. or is it, or is the whole idea of the academy? It's one year, get some experience, and move on to something else. I don't know enough about this. I mean, I know about the precursor, I, which was the W series. Yeah, I I think again the just don't know enough about this. That's all. Apologize. I think the hope is with the series is if you win, you get enough funding to go F three. Do- to a season wherever okay it is because um, f3 would be the next rung up the light not the, not that's not the next fia f3 german f3 british f3 you know something yeah you know. just yeah yeah i mean the the, lo- the logical honestly, stepping stone is f4 to f3 f2 F4. yeah that's but the lo- f you know any of the like british f3 series the mm-hmm. you know the german series they're all equally as talented as the mm-hmm. um as the fia so anyways oh so that's good news yeah that's pretty cool so she'll be on the williams team Y- yes, she's yes. A, a Williams driver. So she could replace Logan Sargent. <laughs> if she gets a super oh, license, big. she could. It's going to be big. <laughs> or, or that they could both be leading American drivers. Yeah, I doubt that. Okay. Oh, Her more also, so than him. About this. I, well, I think you know it might be a op- it might open a door for her to maybe go to IndyCar afterwards. That's, right? you know, that was my only thought. Right? I... Uh, I also don't know what she wants to do because right. she's also in a. Vi- I never. Yeah, she, I mean, she's, 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 she's in a. I mean, she's doing the, ra- I like the rally comment. and the yeah, rally stuff, she's, and then obviously the she's in a, you know stuff in a with her dad's good company position where she can go and do whatever yeah. she wants. Yeah. So that's that's kind of the thing. Yeah. So now is she's probably just have some experience. Is, is Travis yeah. Pastrana going to be her uh, driver mentor? <laughs> she. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope she just enjoys the ride. Good, I do too. And anyways, no, she's in a monster family, isn't she? Yes, she is. Yeah. So Lewis yeah, Hamilton. <laughs> oh, she could replace yeah, to um, the Mercedes. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I, so. No, no, no. I was gonna say something else, and I don't want to say it. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. So why do you do this? Moving on. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to have Christian go back and black. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll move it on. We'll move it on. We'll come back to that after the yeah. podcast. We'll have a podcast. To- Anyways, um, I know we got to wrap this up. Um, what else? Oh, Graham oh, Rahal. Oh, I got something. That's it. Oh, damn it, Sean. I was going to say that. Graham <laughs> Rahal. <laughs> multi-year <laughs> contract with RLL. I'm yeah. shocked. Do you yeah. think multi-year yeah. is more than two? More than two. Multi-year. <laughs> multi-year. <laughs> damn it, Sean. I cannot believe you took the words out of my mouth like that. Oh. Well, there you go. The He's reading the script. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's yeah. it. Um, I guess we're even now because we guessed on who was going to get bumped from the 500 yeah. and then this year. Just we both one, last, one, one last NASCAR note. Um, there was an interesting article today in uh, Racer from uh, Kelly Crandall, where she sat down with Justin Marks. And I thought this was, uh, unlike some of the stuff, the shenanigans that are going on at RCR and stuff, Justin Marks actually sat down and said, you know, we're building on what Ross did, obviously, for his program. But they're taking a full uh, deep dive into Suarez's team to see where things went wrong. Because there were a lot of times that Daniel had a chance to win a race and stuff just went the wrong way. So I I found that refreshing that the team owner was like, we're going to take a look at everything as opposed to, you know, just trashing everybody. I feel like that's not that uncommon maybe more uncommon to just say it outright well unless you're at rcr well or yeah, joe or joe yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. okay <laughs> and then, oh and then there's one last sports car well there's a, like a ton of sports car news to, but one last one the return of the mayor of hinchtown yes that's right hinch, hinch is going to be driving it's for going, fast it's motorsports it's going plaid it's going plaid 
and Canadian, yeah. and he yeah. is Canadian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, perfect. He'll be running the he'll be the Michelin Endurance Cup driver, mm -hmm. joining um, uh, Ollie Jarvis and oh, Kirkhoff, or what's his poor kid's name? Oh, Mar Marvin. I knew that. Damn it. I knew it was Marvin. Marvin. Yeah. That, I mean, those two, Kirkhoff and Ollie, are fast. They're both mm -hmm. um, there. But they will be joined at the Daytona 24 by uh, one Mr. Alexander Rossi. That's awesome. Yeah. And they'll be driving. Uh, in, yeah. They're going to be McLaren. driving a McLaren. Yep. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Remember when Rossi drove the Delta Wing? Did he drive the Delta Wing? I remember Captain Or why hallucinating? I Pretty sure, he did. Captain Pretty sure he did that. I just remember Andy Merrick and Catherine, Catherine Leg. Leg. Yeah. For, I think he came on for the 24, though, one year. Right. I'm going to okay. look it up. <laughs> well, anyways. I don't remember that, but... Sorry, just wild thought. And then um, uh, Andretti Motorsports, Jared Andretti. Um, they're not running under the WTR banner, but the Andretti Motorsports. Global. What are the Andretti Global, right? They're, they've moved from Aston over to um, a Porsche. Derek, you would be correct okay. about the Delta Wing. He wow. made an appearance in 20, 2014. Wow. He, was, <laughs> wow. he, made, yeah. a, he made an appearance was, in the Lawn Dart. It was Andy Merrick, Kathleen Legg, Alex Rossi, and Gabby Chavez. That was when it was still chrome. No, that's wow. that's funny because Man, yeah, Gabby, Chavez, Gabby Chavez is doing the whole season with Jared Andretti. Oh, cool. So. Okay. That's cool. Very nice. Yep. I like All Jared right. Chavez. He's cool. He is. Good people. I wish he stuck around in IndyCar. I thought he was pretty good talent. Oh, pretty sure I'm friends with him on PlayStation. Ho, ho, ho. Wow. Probably not real. Right. <laughs> Probably not yeah. real. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, That's all right. Okay. Chris, anyway. Christian, Christian <laughs> passed Dale Earnhardt Jr. in a, in a iRacing practice session one time. You can find, Whoa. You can, you can find anyone on iRacing these days. Tony Kanaan. Yeah, to, especially Tony Khan. He driver, has a you full rig setup. Yeah. That's sick. I've 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 I seen think, I've seen Tony on the track oh. before. That's that's fun time. Pretty cool. Anyways, we all ever ask you one time. All right. At Las mm. Vegas. Nate. Anyway, on that bombshell. Damn it, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Thank you guys for listening to the Redness Podcast, hosted by Christian Abbott. Sean Abbott and Nathan Lavin. It's produced by Christian Abbott and music is by Alex Wart and Harrison Taylor.